Turkish TFX National Combat Aircraft MMU, a joint project by Turkish Aerospace Industries and the Presidency of Defense Industries, is preparing for a maiden flight using a domestic engine 2029. Work to develop the engines continues at full speed in cooperation with the related institutions. According to Usman Dur, General Manager of TR Engines, a new research and development center for turboshaft engines, he said some 80 engineers are working in the National Fighter Jets Domestic Engine Project in cooperation with the Turkish Air Forces Command. The engine tests are set to be completed by 2026 or 2027. The MMU's maiden flight with the domestic engine will take place in 2029, he added. Due to gradual decommissioning of F-16 combat aircraft over the next decade, the significance of the TFX program has grown, not least as the US has also halted the delivery of F-35 jets to Turkey as a part of coercive threat against Ankara. A mock-up of the National Combat Aircraft was first showcased at Paris Air Show in June 2019 and later at the Technofest in Istanbul in September. The project to develop domestic capabilities to manufacture national jet fighter engines was initially launched by TAI but were later taken out by TR Engines, a company established in 2017 by the SSB to incorporate various engine-related projects under a single umbrella. Around 55% of the company is owned by Turkish defense contractor PMC, while the TAI has 35% stake. A subsidiary of SSB also has 10% share in TR engines. In a assessment to Anadolu agency on Friday, the general manager of the group, Osman, said the firm had been negotiating with the international engineers and design firms along with original equipment manufacturers given that the design and production represent the two separate operations. There is no point designing technologies that we cannot put into production. Therefore, we continue our best effort to develop local suppliers for the domestic aircraft industry, he said. The TAI chairman Temel Kotl told the AA on Friday that the company has been carrying out projects on marketing and export of recently developed domestic products. Turkey has invited Malaysia to join mutual production of MMU and Turkey's own training and light attack aircraft, Hurjet. We made them a proposal and they showed a great interest, Koti said. He added that Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad had previously visited the TAI Centre, adding they also held a bilateral meeting during President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's visit to Malaysia in December. Turkey wants the TFX project to be a multi-partner program, like the one enjoyed by the F-35 fighter jet program. Other countries, especially the Asia-Pacific, such as Malaysia, are being considered potential partners in the project by Ankara. According to sources, Turkey has already discussed partnership possibilities with other countries, but there is no done deal yet. Kotil noted that Malaysia has significant composite producing centers, a recently established composite valley being one of them. But the countries lacked homegrown products in the aviation sector. TAI aims to provide cooperation to the Southeast Asian country in this regard. To reach out the Far East market, he said. A cooperation memorandum had already been signed with the company of Malaysian counterparts in the composite field, he added. TAI has been negotiating for the mutual production of other aircraft as well, with the likes of Kazakhstan and Pakistan to work on domestically developed products like Gokbe General Purpose Helicopter. The MMU aircraft will have several new generation features, including low visibility, internal zone housing, high maneuverability, increased situational awareness and sensor fusion. Meanwhile, Gokbe, which was designed to operate effectively in the most challenging climates and geographies, altitudes and temperatures, completed its first certification flight in July 2019. The certification flight test of the second prototype of Bogbe helicopter produced by TAI are planned to be completed next year. In addition to structural systems and avionics, Gokbe's design and production of critical systems like transmission, rotor and landing gear also use national resources.